Breaking right now, a state of emergency this morning after the collapse of a major bridge in Baltimore, Maryland. There's a live picture on your screen where you can see that bridge after the collapse. This morning, the governor of Maryland said the state's exclusive focus right now is on the search for survivors. The roadway is submerged after a container ship rammed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge. That's the second largest bridge in the Baltimore metro area. About 90 minutes ago, the governor said that workers managed to stop more cars from crossing it right before it collapsed. But a work crew fixing potholes on the bridge is missing. Video shows the moment this happened, a warning that some viewers may find it disturbing. In this video, you can see smoke coming from the cargo ship right before its lights cut out. The ship then hits a support column and then the bridge collapses. Flashing lights at the center of the span appear to be from the road crew working on the bridge. Crews believe that there were eight people in that work crew. Two of them have been rescued. It's been more than eight hours since the bridge collapsed and crews are dealing with frigid temperatures and tidal currents while they search for survivors in the debris. The governor talked about the impact of this disaster to the Baltimore area. To the victims of this tragedy and their loved ones. All of our hearts are broken. We feel your loss. We're thinking of you and we will always be thinking of you. We pray for the construction workers who are on the key bridge, and we pray for everyone who has been touched by this tragedy and their families and all of their loved ones. But Maryland, we will get through this. Maryland's governor also confirmed that the cargo ship's crew told authorities they had lost power around the time that the ship struck the bridge. Tens of thousands of cars used that bridge every day. The governor says the road to replace it will be a long one.